Hi, fourth grade. We are back for part two of our open syllable lesson. If you remember back to last week, an open syllable is when the syllable ends with a vowel and that vowel makes a long vowel sound. Let's take it to look, a look at some words that we already know. Go ends with a vowel, has the long O sound. It makes it an open syllable. Me, it ends with a vowel. It makes the long E sound. It makes it an open syllable word. Sky, ends with a Y, which acts like a vowel. Uses the long I sound. It makes it an open syllable word. And last one, we, it ends with a vowel. It makes the long E sound. It makes it an open syllable. Words with more than one syllable can also have an open syllable. Let's take a look at some examples. First one, this is an open syllable. It ends with a vowel and it makes the long A sound. A, bowl, able. Next one, this right here is your open syllable. It ends with a vowel and it makes the long O sound. K -o -bra, cobra. Next one. Here's your open syllable. It makes a long A sound. A J N T. Agent. And last one, we've got two open syllables. Long vowel here, long vowel here. Gr A V. Gravy. Let's try some together. I have our open syllables labeled here with the red being our vowel sound to get your brains to remember that that's our long vowel sound for our open syllable. Sound out the syllables with me. S I lent. Silent. Next one. F E ver. Fever. Next one, o tell, hotel. Next one, ro t a t rotate. Good. Now your turn to read some. Let's read together. I v i v. Next one, fur. E qu end frequent. Next one, do it with me. O o call local. Next one, do it with me. T o tall total. Next one, do it with me. B e ave behave. Next one, do it with me. R O D end rodent. Next one, do it with me. L I lack lilac. Next one, do it with me. I bur nate hibernate. Good. Now it's your turn to do some on your own. Put the first word in your brain. Radar. Next word in your brain. Tulip. Next word in your brain. Stolen. Next word in your brain. Spoken. Next word in your brain. Clover. Next word in your brain. Diver, next word in your brain. Secret, next word in your brain. Famous, good. Now we don't wanna just read words with open syllables. We want to write words with open syllables. When we write words with open syllables, the first thing we do is clap to find out how many syllables there are. And then we finger tap the sounds in each syllable. Okay, first word, vacancy. They can see. We have three syllables. Finger tap the sounds in the first syllable. They. V. A. 
second syllable. They can. K an. K an. They can see. See. They can see. When we clap the syllables and then we finger tap the sounds in each syllable, we can do a really good job with spelling. Let's try some more. You need a piece of paper and a pencil. If you don't have one, please hit the pause button and go grab yourself one. And the first word I would like you to try is silence. I do best with my homework when I work in silence. Silence. Ready? Silence. Two syllables. S I U N S. Next word. Cider. Apple cider is one of my favorite things to drink in the fall. Cider. Are you ready? Cider. Two syllables. S I D R. Cider. Next one. Bison. A bison is a large animal. Bison. Let's check it. Bison, two syllables. B I S O N. Bison. Next one, veto. Um, the president can veto a bill that comes across his desk. Veto. Two syllables, veto. V E T O. Good. We've got two more like this. Next word, secret. Got two syllables, secret. S-E-C-R-E-T, secret. Next one, razor. Razor, two syllables. R A Z O R, razor. Turn your paper over or get a new piece of paper. Now I want to see what you can do without us checking it together. This is the one. You'll take a picture and you will email it to me so I can check your work. Are you ready? Beside. I sat beside the tree to read a good book. Beside. Next word, beyond. We took a long walk way beyond the park. Beyond. Next word, defend. Our country has an army that will defend us. Defend. Delay. If we get snow, sometimes Mr. Potiger will call a two hour delay to keep us safe. Delay. Next word, demand. I demand a sharpened pencil. Demand. And last word, prevent. To prevent getting sick, you need to wash your hands. Prevent. Okay, great job today. Next week, we are going to do a final review with both open and closed syllables to make sure we're not confusing them. Have a great rest of your day and a fantastic week. See you back here next week. Bye-bye, kids.